Yeah, I didn't want to think. I was looking for an out. Where I didn't have to think and I didn't have to feel. The bullying I had to deal with every day made me so desperate. So because I thought not feeling anything was better than enduring those days, no, so I could endure them, I devoted myself to shutting out all sensation. I wanted to be numb. So I abandoned a lot of things. My grades, my friends, society, my future. Then I stopped going to school. I devoted myself to becoming pure in my little box of a world. So that sadness, loneliness, and anxiety wouldn't destroy me. But those stares, look of pity, that you use when you look at failures. After that, I lost control. Purity and meaningless explosions were my life. I, I ended up with only one solution. End it. Holy Land was a manga written and illustrated by Koji Mori. It features a tormented soul, a boy who has no place in society, who feels lost, desperate, and without emotion. In fact, his only solution to the mental anguish is to numb it all, is to anesthetize himself of any sort of thoughts or emotions. By not participating in society, no one picks on him because he's too pitiful. He's too weak. And frankly, he's just not worth their time. He's not worth anyone's time. In fact, not even his own. Luckily for him though, he didn't have the mental fortitude to go through with his suicide. So therefore, he decided to take up a skill, a simple jab. And with this simple jab, he had something to base his life around. He had something to practice, to hone, to get better at, and to master. But it wasn't so much the mastery or the process of learning the jab. It was actually using his jab against a real person that gave his life purpose, that gave it vigor, that gave it heart, and gave it a pulse. Yu Kamashiro feels a thrill. He feels excitement. And through this excitement, he begins to kindle a fire. A fire of confidence that others take notice of. And because of this, this allows him to gather some friends together. People that are like-minded. People that like him for him because he's actually striving for something. Because he believes in himself. Even though Holy Land focuses on boxing tactics and strategies, it's more about the emotions that go into that. It's about believing that the tactics will work with enough self-confidence. And it's about pushing through the pain and testing your limits whenever possible every day so that you can get a little better. You can climb one step up the staircase to greatness. Now, this is not a prototypical boxy manga. Yu Kamashiro is not trying to compete in a tournament. He's not trying to become a boxing champion or win a belt. He's fighting in the streets. He's fighting against gang members and he's putting himself at risk on a nightly basis. These are not just one-on-one -on -one battles. Oftentimes, they're one-on-three, one-on-two. Sometimes they have bats or a knife or some other sort of blunt, sharp object. Some people are using karate, others judo, some wrestling, and most everyone is cheating, using tactics that would not be used in regulated competition. But that's sort of the beauty of this manga. It's not about the rules. It's about breaking the rules to discover yourself. Society has dictated that we act a certain way in front of people. And because Yu could not express himself, he turned all his emotions and anger inward and nearly self-destructed himself. But by releasing those emotions in a physical catharsis on a nightly basis, he began to discover his identity. Now, this was no easy process. Even though he was winning battles and having a good time with some of his friends, there were some bad moments as well. In fact, a lot of bad moments. Friends of his got hurt quite often. He began to question the morality of his decisions and people around him started to question his sanity, started to question why he was doing what he was doing, why he was so fervent in fighting in the streets and risking his life. But that's kind of the paradox of the manga. If he did nothing and he laid in his room, he was wasting his life. He was not really living. He was essentially 
for all intents and purposes, dead. It was only when he was risking his life and putting it on the line that he was actually alive, that he actually had a pulse and he had vigor and enthusiasm for living his life. Now, aside from the exciting psychological torture, Holy Land is very intricate and detailed in its fight sequences. I mean, there is so much explanation that after reading this manga, you're going to feel like you can do some judo, kendo, mixed martial arts yourself. All the moves can actually be applied to real life, which makes the fights very realistic. Nothing feels feigned or over the top. Each of the street battles is diverse and unique in its own regard. So no fight feels bland or boring. I feel like sometimes with boxing anime and fighting manga, sometimes the fights can get a little boring. Sometimes you see the same special move a hundred times and they don't really spice it up. But with Holy Land, there's always a hidden weapon. There's always a new martial art. There's always a new character experience. And there's always a new hurdle to overcome. And I will also say that the artwork is very good. I like the choice of shading everything and making everything look dark and murky. It gives it a more visceral feel to it. It makes it feel more authentic. And the last thing that I'll say about the manga as well is that if you saw my video about the Kentaro Mira Memorial manga, Koji Mori talks about the fact that, you know, he used to like to draw and then he kind of fell out of love with it for a while and um, he sort of lost his purpose in life, but Kentaro Mira sort of brought him back into the fold and reinvigorated his passions once again. And I feel like that's a parallel for the main character of Holy Land. Obviously, when a mangaka writes a story, they're naturally going to write a character that sort of resembles themselves. It's, it's almost unavoidable, you know? I mean, everything comes from your brain. So you're going to impart some of your personality into that character. And I really like how he shows the character in a state where he's in a malaise and he doesn't know what to do with his life. And it happens quite a few times, actually. And each time he has to sort of remind himself what gives him that meaning and how to push through it and how to keep moving forward and not become stagnant. So this is a really interesting read, guys, and really relevant given the fact that Koji Mori is now going to be working on Berserk. So I would say become familiar with this story and uh, some of his other works if you're interested. But uh, yeah, thanks for listening and I'll catch you on the flip side.